Well, we've got an update in the lower level here, and that is the last few details to get the gas fireplace going. We had the first part of that taken care of after the house was framed up, but just before the drywall went on. Nick no? Neeson was here for that, and he put the main unit in place. Got it plumb and square in the opening, secured it to the framing, and attached the ductwork. It's a direct vent fireplace, so that part typically goes pretty smoothly. And that was certainly the case here. At that point, it was ready for the gas and electric connections, as well as the stone surround. Of course, the drywall and the stone is all done now. Nick is back along with Joe Wyand. How you doing? Hi, great. Good. Now, we've worked with you many times before. Do you want to kind of give us a refresher on what we're doing today? Sure, I'd be happy to. Today, we're going to do what we call startup. So startup involves getting everything set inside the fireplace. It begins with the brick interior. Uh, then we set the ember material and the burner, as well as the logs. And then Nick goes through and gets everything started up on the fireplace, gets the test the fire on in the unit, make sure that all the other controls are working properly. And then once the unit is ready to operate, then you have to go through what they call the break-in period for the fireplace. So break-in period, what's that? Okay, so the fireplace, the first time that it's operated, has to be operated at high for about a four to five hour period. And during that period, all of the machining oils that are on the fireplace, as well as the paint itself, have to cure in. Now, one thing that's great about this fireplace is it's beautiful, but it also gives off a lot of heat. Correct. This unit is 46,000 BTUs, which will heat an area of up to 2,500 square feet, which is pretty amazing. It also has ceramic glass, which is designed to radiate a lot of heat into the space. Excellent. Now, once you get everything put together, we have this beautiful looking face piece you're going to be putting on there. Yes. It's the Ironworks doors, which are a new uh, face offered by the manufacturer. Uh, they're a handmade wrought iron with a special bronze patina finish on them. It's a beautiful, beautiful door. Well, now this unit has a remote, right? That is correct. It has a multifunction remote control. The remote control allows you to operate the unit either as a standing pilot or continuous pilot um, operating system, as well as in the operation of the remote control, you can control the flame height as well as the fan speed. Uh, you'll be able to control a light function uh, as well as a split flow burner feature where you can turn on and off the back burner and thermostat feature. And then how does the thermostat work? Well, the handheld unit acts as your thermostat, so wherever you have that set in the room is where it will measure the temperature. Okay. Um, and you can set it for whatever temperature you want to maintain in the room. It will check in with the fireplace every three minutes and that, turn the unit on and off based on the temperature that you want to maintain in the room. Well, it sounds great. looks great. I can't wait to see uh, Nick fire it all yeah, up. It'll be beautiful. Thanks so much, Joe. Okay, thank you.